Hi, this is a tutorial on the basics of Keycloak Part 3, specifically on OAuth clients. In this tutorial, we're going to configure an OAuth third party application. We're going to register an OAuth client in the Keycloak Administration Console. And we're going to use OAuth third party grants with this application. An OAuth client is different than a regular Keycloak application in that OAuth clients are not necessarily secured by the Keycloak server. Instead, OAuth clients request temporary access to a user's resources or services. In this tutorial, we have a browser application that is going to act as an OAuth client. When the browser visits this browser application, it's going to be redirected to the Keycloak server to obtain a token. Um, this token is going to be used to securely access a database service. This database service is the same service that we configured in part one and part two of this tutorial. Um, the third party application is going to get a third party listing from this database service. So let's go to the Keycloak administration console so we can register an OAuth client. Okay, let's log into the admin console. And I'm going to go to the OAuth clients tab here. We're going to add an OAuth client, give it a name, and we'll give it as third party. Enable it. Click Save. Okay, like applications, OAuth clients have credentials as well. They have a shared secret that you must configure it to use when the OAuth client is requesting a token from the server. So if you go to the credentials tab here, you can view that secret and you can regenerate it as well. Like applications, uh, OAuth clients need to have a scope as well. This scope is the roles that the OAuth client is allowed to request for. In this case, we're only going to give user privileges to the OAuth client. So this particular OAuth client here is only allowed to ask for user privileges when it requests a token for a specific user. Okay, we've created an OAuth client. Now that we've done that, let's go to our actual application and configure that to be able to use this registered OAuth client. Like part one and part two, we're back to our unconfigured demo directory in our Keycloak distribution. You see here we have a bunch of projects. And let's bring up these projects within my favorite IDE, IntelliJ. The application we're going to configure is within the third party directory here. And it is also um, a WAR artifact web application. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we need to create a keycloak.json file for this particular third party application. And we need to do that within the webinf directory. So I'll create that here. And we're going to get the JSON from this within the keycloak administration console. So let's go back to the console and see our OAuth clients third-party OAuth client, we're going to click on the installation link. And this is the JSON we're going to use to configure the um, OAuth client. So we'll copy that and paste it there. Save. That's all the configuration we have to do for this third-party project. Uh, this application, this WAR, is not actually being secured by Keycloak. Instead, it's using the Keycloak OAuth client library to initiate an OAuth request with the Keycloak server to obtain a token. And then it's using that token to invoke on the backend database service that we configured in part two. If you want to look at some of the Java code, the bootstrap class, this bootstrap class is responsible for reading the JSON from the Keycloak.json file and configuring the OAuth client library. The product database client is the code that's executed when, um, when we actually click on the link in the demo. Um, it, it, it initiates the OAuth protocol with the Keycloak server um, to obtain a token and then it uses this token to make an HTTP request to the database service. 
So let's actually see this application in action. To do it, we must um, first build it and then deploy it to the application server. So let's go to our command window again. Uh, we will go to the third party application directory. We'll do maven clean install. This builds the application. And then we're going to deploy it. Maven to boss. Yes, deploy. Okay, this has deployed it to the JBoss application server, and now we can um, go execute it. The application can be accessed by typing in localhost port 8080 slash OAuth dash client, and it'll bring up this particular page. When I click on the pull data link, what's, what it's going to do, it's going to bring us to the login page of the Keycloak server. It's going to initiate a NOAuth grant request. So we'll enter in our username and password. And the next page we're going to get to is an OAuth grant page. Because this is um, an OAuth client request, requesting a login, um, this additional grant page is shown to the user. What this grant page will ask the user is um, whether or not they allow the OAuth client certain privileges. In this case, it's saying third-party application requests access to user privileges for this particular user. Again, to click cancel or accept, we'll click accept. And when we click the accept, we're redirected back to the third-party application. Third-party application obtains an access token from the Keycloak server. It uses this token to securely invoke the REST database service to obtain the product listing. That's about it.